for me is that emotion come like waves, right? And if enabling ourselves to let go of each emotion, experience it fully, process it and let go of that emotion, whatever your coping mechanism is, and there's so many different forms of coping mechanisms, whether it's spiritual practices, whether it's journaling, whether it's exercise, whether it's talking to a good trusted friend or family member, whether it's doing service for other people, doing charity work, whether it's this in itself, giving awareness, there's many forms of letting go of emotion, right? There's positive ones and negative behaviors. But bottling emotion is often where people start to misunderstand their selves. And then they obviously overboil and overspill. And in a time where we're talking of some really deep and emotional issues, if one is not practicing their own methodologies of letting go of their emotions, whatever that be, and experiencing the full range of them, and not doing so in a productive, positive manner, then often you'll find much conflict with people, whether within themselves or whether in their interactions, because they're not understanding themselves. And thus, as I say, those emotions often overspill. And in many cases, um, they almost miss a beat and go to the extreme, which is usually anger. So, so if that hopefully sheds some light um, on, in my opinion, first and foremost, what we need to do is self-care for ourselves in these times, those who are deeply afflicted. And as I say, those who are navigating this and trying to understand themselves and others in this time of political unrest and emotional and moral and ethical unrest, um, I think it is very important for people to first and foremost focus on themselves, right? Rather than pointing the finger at others and not seeing the three that come back. Because ultimately, we're all trying to do very good work and at the same time trying to educate but I'm also noticing lots of frictitious kind of like, um, you know, relations with people, even in just everyday conversations. You know, I have many Jewish brothers and sisters who are my good friends. The minute I started posting any of this stuff, it got serious, you know, and people's questioning even, you know, your friendships.